Hi everyone! So I thought I would show you my favorite makeup brushes. And um, these are not necessarily um, all one brand. I don't have to buy everything from the same brand. I will say I do really like Sigma brushes. Um, and I have several of them and I really do like them. They're great quality and if I, you know, need to buy any brushes, I will tend to probably go to them if I need to get something first as opposed to looking anywhere else. But some of these brushes I've had since I started, you know, doing my makeup and stuff probably about three years ago I started like actually like wearing makeup. Um, so some of these brushes are from them but I love them so much that there's no point to replace them. I just really love them. So like I've got quite a few here. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. First brush I have for you, you probably saw my June favorites and how much I love and raved about this brush. This is the Sigma E10, which is a small eyeliner brush. And I love, love, love this brush. If you want to hear me rant a little bit more about it, you can check out my June favorites. I know I've only had it a short period of time, uh, probably about a month or so, or maybe just over, yeah, a month, I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Um, I love it, and I've been wearing, except for today, oddly, um, but I've been wearing gel eyeliner every day just so I can, like, wear the gel liner but like use this brush because I love it so 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 much. It works really really well. I would be lost without this brush. That's all I'm going to say because I already ranted about it. This brush here, this is my Annabelle. It's an A21. I don't know if that really means anything but basically this is just a small eyeshadow brush. This was the very first brush I ever bought myself three years ago when I started doing my makeup and um, or started wearing makeup, not doing makeup. But anyways, I absolutely love this brush. It, I don't know if it's synthetic or real hair, I'm not really sure, but it's an incredibly, incredibly soft brush. This is really great at picking up color and just packing it on all over the lid. Like 99% of the time, I use this brush every single day. It works really, really well. I really love this brush, and I would be lost without this one as well. I'd be lost without probably all of these brushes. That's why they're my favorites, and that's why I'm showing you. Okay. This brush, this is a Quo uh, All Over Eyeshadow Brush. I basically just say that this is the same as the Annabelle brush, but this is just a larger size. I just call it like a large shadow brush. I only use this for applying my highlight. It is the perfect size, shape, just pick up a little color. It's excellent for just taking the brush stamping it a little bit of color, it picks up so much, and just pressing it on. And you can use it to blend a little, but basically I just I stamp my highlight on with this, and I absolutely love this brush. I've had this for a long time as well. Quo brushes, they're not, they're not cheap, um, and they're not cheaply made either. Um, I, I usually only buy these actually when there's like a 40% off on their brushes, which doesn't happen often, but you know, every maybe couple of months or something, I guess. Anyways, I love, love, love this brush. Again, super soft, great for applying color. Uh, I believe Quo is only available in Canada, so sorry to anyone else that might want to try them. Um, I don't even think you can order them online. Sorry. But these are really great brushes, and I absolutely love this one. Really great. This is my Sigma E25, yeah, E25 blending brush. And uh, I love this. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. It's just a white tapered blending brush, basically. This brush is really great at picking up color. Well, you can pick up a lot of color with this as well. But you can even just pick up a little bit of color. And it's great for doing a little bit of blending, but defined blending, if that makes any sense. Because these brushes, or the bristles, it's not like super... It's not super fluffy, it's, it is kind of tapered. If I just want to wear one color for the day, like I don't want to be bothered doing a ton of shadows, I'll just pick up this brush with one color, usually something with some like frost or a shimmer to it, apply it all over my lid, and then just um, just do slight like little windshield wiper motions back and forth, just to, um, you know, blend into the crease, just make it look like I'm doing a little bit more with my shadow, if that makes sense, than, you know, just one color. But this is really, really great, like I said, for doing defined shading. Defined shading, yes. This is amazing for that. Another brush that I could not live without is my e.l.f. Um, Professional Blending Eye Brush. I will take, like, if I have my MAC concealer, I'll dip this into it and just kind of dot it on and then just blend. This does not leave any lines, does not, it just somehow just, like I said, airbrushes 
concealer on. I'll use it if I have spots and things on my face as well. Just take a little product and just kind of dot, swirl, buff, whatever. This is absolutely amazing. And these you can probably get, I don't know, for a dollar or something. I think they're a dollar to three dollars for their brushes. So extremely inexpensive, but it works really, really well. And I really love this. I've been using this, again, for probably probably like two years or something and it's the same brush and it was probably you know it's the, the least amount I've spent on a brush but probably one of the best investments just because it works really really well. Next I have two blush brushes. The first one here is the Sigma Duo Fiber Powder and Blush Brush in F15. I only use this for applying cream blushes. This works so incredibly well. It's like it's super soft. Um, it picks up the color really well but it doesn't um, just because of the, the style of the brush, I don't know how to explain it, it doesn't just deposit all the color in one spot. You're able to really blend and work with this um, and move the cream, uh, the cream product around. So I really, really love this brush. It works really, really well and it's the only thing that I will use. I mean, the odd time I'll use my fingers if I'm kind of in a hurry if I'm putting cream uh, blush on, but otherwise I use this brush and only this brush to apply my, my cream product. The other brush, brush that I have is my Quo uh, Face Contour Brush. In perfect shape for applying blush. If you wanted to contour for doing uh, bronzer and stuff, you could as well. I only use this for blush, but it is just perfect. Eco Tools brush. There's no other name or anything on it, but it would basically be just like a, you know, like a standard powder brush or something. I only use this for bronzer. I don't contour very often. I'm really sorry if you can hear the noise. There's like recycling going down the road. I'm really sorry. Just, just try and tune it out. I only use this for bronzer and that is it. I know several people use the Eco Tools brushes and they really like them. And they are. They're not expensive. They're well made, good, sturdy products. The bristles don't fall out and incredibly soft, soft brushes. And I think these are, I don't know if these are like cruelty free or something, I can't fully remember, don't quote me, but I think that they might be. This works really well just for applying my bronzer all over my face, wherever I want it. My favorite, favorite foundation brush, and I've tried three different styles of foundation brushes, and this is my absolute favorite. This is my Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki, the F80. And again, I'm sure most of you have seen or are aware of these uh, Kabuki style brushes. Great quality, great price. The bristles, incredibly soft. You get a super like airbrush flawless finish with this brush. I've tried the regular kind of long flat foundation brushes. Then I've tried like the one of these kind of brushes, like the dual fiber kind of brushes. And this is what works the absolute best. You just get a nice, even, even streak-free, flawless finish with this style of brush. My very last brush I have for you is my Quo Fan Brush. I only just started wearing highlighter, I don't know, I probably got this a while ago, and then just to have it in my collection and didn't really use it. But uh, the bristles, extremely soft. Again, all the Quo brushes have incredibly soft, soft brushes. I really like them. It picks up the product really well. You don't need, um, I don't, you don't need to swirl it around where we can just do a couple dabs and you're able to just put the product on right where you want it. You can stamp it on and then kind of blend it in. I love it. I wouldn't use anything else. I like that it's, you know, very narrow uh, bristles so that way you can get a really precise line. You're not putting highlighter like all over your cheek and having to buff it out or whatever. It's just extremely precise. So that is it for my favorite makeup brushes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorites are. Uh, if you use any of the same brushes that I do or if you have any recommendations for any other kind of brushes. Um, again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!